So this is very exciting because we're now back in the factories and we're working on the new 220, 2020 collection, which we've called the Roaring Twenties. This is a fabulous new gown which has been called Coco after Coco Chanel. It's incredibly light. It's amazingly light. But the workmanship is superb. So again, it's completely handmade, totally hand embellished, hand beaded, using the finest French net. So if we zoom around here, you can actually see these gentlemen who are now working the very, very first production piece of Coco. They work incredibly fast, but it's still very, very time consuming and intricate work. So every single bead is put on by hand. Every petal has been hand cut. It's amazing. So this is the Japanese pearl beaded bridal dress, uh, which is all hand beaded. And these two guys are going to sit here for several days um, just beading the panels to make the gown. Uh, this is just to show you that absolutely every Eliza Jane Howell gown is made by hand. So this is one of the new gowns. So it's not just beaded, but it actually has hand embroidery and also all the feathers are put on as if you're putting on a single bead. Everything is finished off. Some people are actually asking me, well, you know, who works in these factories? Have you got children? No, we don't have children. You can only work with the most skilled beaders. And if you don't pay your beaders enough money and what they want, they go elsewhere. These guys make the Sandal, they make the Gucci, they make the Chanel, they make the all the top ladies. They can go anywhere. We're working on a new, very fine French spot net, and we're doing Betsy Art to be This is going to be for a new sample, which will be used in our photo shoot. shoot. So we're just perfecting the actual dress. This gentleman is now working on the actual pattern for the gown. So he perfects the shape and makes sure that everything fits perfectly. So this is the process of actually making the beading pattern for the actual gown. And this gentleman will be here for several days working on various parts of each dress. So here we have five gentlemen around one loom that are just beading a few panels of one dress. They've already been here for more than three days just doing this panel and there are several other panels to finish after this. So the whole gown is going to take more than three weeks to bead. So this gown is Madison and the gentleman here is making the whole gown by hand. So every bead is put on as a single bead. Many people are asking about um, how these guys get paid. To actually make our gowns, you have to be the best of the best. So this isn't something that can just be made by anyone. These beaders actually dictate what they want to earn. And if you're not prepared to pay them, then they go and make couture. They make Chanel, they make Gucci, they make Saint Laurent. So we're starting to develop some new ideas for Eliza Jane Powell. Obviously we're going to work on some new green white beading. We're moving into using a lot of pearls and very, very delicate sequin work. There will be a touch of hand embroidery going into these swatches as well. At the moment it's just a very simple panel, that will probably become a bodice and then we'll develop a skirt. So these are just the first ideas that, that we will see. Um, I'm brought Andrea to India to actually see how Yes, this is my first trip to Delhi and it's amazing to see how the dresses are made in person. It's an absolute work of art so it's great to see exactly what goes into an Eliza Jane Howell dress. So this is a gentleman working on the Orleans dress which is already in the collection and you can see he's putting the cut bead and just hand embroidering that onto the net.
even when we're doing a, a sort of pinstripe beading or even an all over sequin beading, when we say it's made by hand, this shows that it's made by hand. It's using an absolutely tiny, tiny sequin, but it's not done by machine, and yet every line mm. is perfect. It's so symmetrical, you almost think it's done by a machine, but this is amazing. Yeah, all completely done by it. So that's going to make like an amazing pinstripe jacket. Yes. Or it's going to be, I think we're going to work on a suit here. The Grand Voyage collection, uh, gown is called Dorleans. And here, this is the dress. So we now have a bride who actually wants to wear the gown. In production, you're going to see these gentlemen who are now starting to work on the beadings. And how long do you think you're going to work on this beading? It's going to take several weeks, really, to get this perfect. Because you go over and over, adding beads, changing beads. And here, you're only seeing part of the gown. You're not seeing the complete gown. So when these panels are finished, they then start maybe on the bodice or the back train. It really is a labour of love. Okay, this gentleman has just started working on the Uffizi dress. In fact, he's probably already been beading for a couple of weeks. Uh, if he makes the gown on his own, it's going to take well over a month for him to bead that one gown. But usually you have two or three beaders working on one gown to push it through the factory much faster. These gentlemen are working on a few slight modifications that we're making to a 2020 can called Lexington. We, we've decided that instead of taking the sequin right to the edge of the sleeve hem, we're going to leave a very small baby plain hem, simply because then I think everybody will understand how easy it is just to make an alteration if you are going to show that, that particular sleeve hem. Beaded fringe, I mean it's amazing isn't it, we've been doing it for five, six years, longer, okay so ten years, but on Eliza Jane Howell, beaded fringe has been there from day one, so almost seven years ago we were doing beaded fringe, you look at any couture label now, Chanel, Saint Laurent, how much are you using beaded fringe, everybody's doing beaded fringe, but I doubt we're as secure as the fringing that we're using, these two ladies are securing every single piece, and they'll knot it, and then they'll hand stitch it together when it's finished. I think you probably recognise this dress as our violet gown. This is in Argel, so you can also make it in pearl. It's been a real hit of the collection. It's still going strong two to three years later. This is to show you how, when you do the beaded fringe, they are incredibly secure. Each fringe is put on by hand, but it's double stitched and then it's finished off on the inside. This is just to show you one that we made earlier. That one. Sit, go, and we'll just watch him just applying one of the. So he's, u he's using a beading hook mm -hmm. and that's taking the thread underneath the French net and securing it with another bead. So today we're in another factory and Shivana here is working on a new version of Manhattan. So this is a gown for 2020 and it's like an explosion of stars over the dress. We're going to do a little bit of tweaking on the beading. So Shivana is actually making us a new sample, which is obviously what we're going to photograph and then go out to the stockist for the trunk shows. So Shivana will be here working on this, probably finish in a couple of weeks, and then we'll get the gown in London. So we're working on silk georgettes here, yeah. and again it's all hand beaded, and we're going for a, a total cut bead. Yeah. Is the bead made of glass? The bead is made of glass, it's so still it's quite glass, delicate, yes. but, delicate. but still very strong, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, delicate work, but, but well done. So here you've got sequins. It's just showing you a variety of hmm. the shapes that you can actually use or get made. And obviously you can make those in pearl or black. Make them in any colour. So you've got sort of long, stick-like 
got petals, you've got leaves. And so this is the sky dress, which is all being beaded by hand. You can see the process that goes into this. This is Sabella, and you can see every one of the beads on Sabella is sewn on by hand by this lovely gentleman. see how delicate this is to just get the beads, tiniest of beads on the needle and then sew them onto the dress. So you can see these very minute little beads being hand sewn onto this piece of net. Absolutely intricate. So this is a Sabella dress, which is just being made, so you can see all the sequins on the table that are being put onto the needle. And every single dress is completely beaded and made by hand. And these lovely two gentlemen are hard at work in this Sabella dress.